Today we're going to remove the thermostat from a 2011 Toyota Tundra 5.7. Alright, in today's video we're going to be removing this thermostat and then this thermostat is located right in the front, right on top. Just taking out my other phone from my pocket. <laughs> it's not letting me bend in here correctly, but it is located right underneath this hose. There it is, right here. So it looks like we might have to remove this pigtail from here. I might need both hands remove this hose clamp from here and then remove this one here then we'll have better access of removing the bolt from here or the nut from here the nut from there and the nut down there the whole reason I'm doing this video is because we took this to the dealership to Toyota and they said that it has a small leak in one of the head gaskets so I'm also gonna make a video of how to use this blue devil head gasket sealer but I was uh, just looking up here because I hit my head a little bit because of this and look what the dealer forgot holy smokes look at that snap on damn that's what's up magnetized with a rubber seal so you don't jack shit up that is bad at I just wanted to point that out because I'm excited anyways I love flashlights if you haven't noticed my videos I use a lot of flashlights so anyways, uh, let me go ahead and get started with all of this. All right, so I used these small channel lock pliers to be able to get this out because I guess I wasn't strong enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and use probably those same channel locks to get this here. This is kind of in the way. You could probably just pull this out a little bit, just like so, so you have a little bit more access to it. All right, I'm gonna use these channel locks to move this here. I really hope that's not a fuel line. <laughs> We're gonna find out. It smells like gas or not. You know what? I suggest you put this back on. <laughs> Nothing. Sweet. All right. Stick that to the side. All right. Now we have a little bit of a better axis. Uh, we still gotta remove this hose clamp from here grab my other flashlight to give us a little bit of more view. I love it because it just clips on to uh, my phone hand thingamabob. <laughs> my phone tripod. Um, it's not for it. It just magically fits and it happens to click on there perfectly. And look, see? That way you get a nice good angle of everything. Anyway, so let's go ahead and remove this clamp here. Probably use a little bit, uh, bit a little bit big, blah, 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 blah. a little bit bigger channel locks. God damn, I can't speak today. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so that is actually a pretty tight spot. So I'm using these needle nose to get it out, but I'm gonna need both hands to do that. All right, so there it is. Now I'll have to get that hose out. But look, I even have the other flashlight helping me out already. Nice, right? All right, so. I try to get this off by hand and it's not budging at all. I might have to loosen it up maybe with those other channel locks if I'm able to reach it. I'm gonna go ahead and try to break it loose and get it out. All right, and there she is almost out. Doing this wiggling it back and forth and there she goes. There she goes. <laughs> all right stick that hose down at the bottom now we have access to our bottom nut one two and three perfect so now let's go ahead and get these out ouch fucking hit my head again all right so here's I'm taking out the bottoms uh, nut with an extension and a 10 millimeter socket. Here's the top one. This back one here, 
you might have to use a wrench because there's this hose in the way. So let me go ahead and break all three loose and get it out of there and we should be done. All right, for this last one that's right in here, I actually had to go to Harbor Freight because we didn't have any of these swivel ratchets. I just needed a ratchet, but the swivel heck of help. Um, because I tried all kinds of stuff and I couldn't get it out. Anyways, tried the swivel, tried the other wrench, didn't work out. And this one works out perfectly because you're able to get it like so. So let me go ahead and finish on screwing that and that should come right out. All right, I'm not gonna lie, getting that last nut was a bitch. But here it is, boom. Gasket stayed behind, awesome. Sweet, and that is how you remove the thermostat. <clears throat> Gotta climb through a chair to get up there. Use that for my niece. From a 2011, Toyota Tundra. <laughs> That's how you remove that. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.